Hello and welcome back to another episode of Violin Gurukul. In previous lesson, I taught you how to produce a primary sound from the violin. In today's lesson, I'll teach you few bow techniques to improve your control over your bow. So let's get started. Place your bow in your first string, which is G, if you are using a four string violin. Place your uh, bow in the G string and start to bow like this. Coming back. Next string, do the same thing, exact same thing. Don't lift up your bow, just tilt it in the next string. Now come back from this string to one. At first, you don't have to uh, do this or achieve this uh, speed of your bow and you can experience a scratching sound. You can uh, hear a scratching sound when you bow and maybe uh, you face problems playing one string at a time. So you can hear such voice like or to avoid this scratching sound you have to put a little pressure in the pointer because our pointer is light, lighter than the frog end. So put a little pressure in your pointer. Just little pressure in the pointer only, not in the frog end. Like this. One thing you have to keep in mind, which is your starting point of your bow uh, in uh, the right hand and the ending point will be same. Don't take it forward or in the backward. Just maintain the starting and the end point like this. And do this exercise like one, two, one. One, two, one, two. Come back from this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now do four in one string. Like one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Don't try to achieve this much speed at first. Uh, try uh, doing it really slow. Then you can achieve this speed and a fresh tone. That's it for today. In today's lesson, we learned few uh, techniques, like one technique uh, to balance your bow. In the next class, I'll teach you few more advanced techniques of bow to improve your balance. That's it for today. See you in the next episode.